Prob now, problem number 30 um, says to consider this polynomial. And we see that it has two roots, okay? And those two roots are at negative 2 and positive 2. And it comes from this equation, okay? Now, there's a number of different ways we can do this. We need to find all the roots. Now, I already know that one root is negative 2, the other is positive 2. That's not going to be the hard part. The hard part is finding out what the remaining two roots are. And I should know, since they don't cross the x-axis, that means they're going to be complex or imaginary roots. Okay? So, I'm going to take um, a factor that I can get from an, a root of, x, uh, of negative 2 and say that that's going to give me a factor of uh, x plus 2. And the other factor is going to be an x minus 2. So I need to use both of those basically to get to the point where I can get an equation that I can then factor beyond or, or, or solve. So I'm going to start with my x plus 2 and I'm going to take this thing here and put it underneath. Now there's my x to the fourth and you'll notice that there's no other x's but I have to account for all those. So I got a plus 0x to the third plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 16. All right. I'm going to start right here as I normally do with that guy right there. Up top, this is an x to the third power because that and that give me this. This times 2, 2x cubed. That and something else is going to give me nothing. It's a negative 2x cubed. Now, with the negative here, that x times something is going to have to give me this negative, so that has to be negative. And it's a 2, but it's only an x squared because I've already got a, an x squared and an x that gives me my x cubed. That and that, minus 4x squared. Now that and something else is going to give me nothing, just like this. So it's a positive 4x squared. Good. And so that and times something times x is going to give me that. This time it's a positive and it's a 4x. That and that is going to give me an 8x. That and something else is going to give me nothing. It's got to be a negative 8x. X times what gives me a negative 8x? Well, it's a negative 8. That and that give me a negative 16. Those match, which confirms that this is, in fact, a factor. But this equation is still a work in progress. Okay? So what I need to do now, then, I haven't used that yet. Let's use the x minus 2. We're going to set up another box over here. Um, well... I'm going to run out of space, maybe. This box is going to be smaller. This is only a, a 3 by 2 because we're now dealing with the fact that it's the, that's what we're kind of dividing. Okay? So there's my x minus 2. My x to the third is here, and I'm using this equation down here, negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 8. So there's my x cubed and my x squared. That and negative 2 negative 2x squared. Together these give me nothing. Or I mean this and nothing give me this, yeah, so 0x squared um, plus 0x and that and that give me nothing. That and what give me a 4? Well it's got to be a 4x because 4x and nothing is going to still be a 4x. So there's a plus 4 and 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Again they match. So this is my equation. Now x squared plus 4, up until this point on the worksheet, this in some cases has been the final answer, in other cases it's been something that we have to factor. I'm told here um, to find all the fa um, to write it in factored form and find all the roots. So completely factored form is x plus 2, x minus 2. If I say that's a y equals, because that was the original equation, that's accurate. This is in the completely factored form because that can't be factored. But when it comes to the roots, well, for one thing, I already have two of the roots. One of my roots is negative 2, 0. The other root is 2, 0. This, then, is the source of my other two roots. Well, I can set it equal to 0 and do the quadratic formula, or I can simply say, if I know that 0 equals x squared plus 4, if I subtract 4 from both sides and get x squared, now when I take the square root of both sides, I'll find that x is equal to plus or minus, I have to provide that, it won't show up on its own, 2i. So the other two roots are plus or minus 2i comma 0. And so two real roots, two imaginary roots, 
the real roots provide x-intercepts. The imaginary roots provide sort of a wrinkle in the in the in the graph, but but not x-intercepts. Mm -hmm.